Hey everybody, Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. Today I'm gonna to do something I should have done a long, long time ago, and I'm gonna take you on the journey with me. Hopefully it won't be too long of a journey, but today I'm gonna to build a jig for assembling our cornhole board frames. You don't wanna miss this. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so if you build any number of cornhole boards, then you probably can see the value of having a jig to put it all together. Um, it's not really that complicated of a process, but to make many cornhole boards consistently and efficiently, a jig is just almost, it's just almost a must have. So anyway, we've been building cornhole boards for years now. I don't know how many sets of cornhole boards we built without a jig, but today we're going to put that to an end. <laughs> we're going to put it to an end. So today we're just going to use some common shop materials and a little bit of patience, and we're going to put this together, and hopefully it will be something that will dramatically change our game. Let's do it. All right, so frankly, I don't know how we're gonna do this yet. I'm gonna Han Solo it, and I'm just making this up as I go. I've got the components here for our frame. Really simple frame. I've got a sheet of three quarter inch plywood. Why plywood? Well, because I didn't have any three quarter MDF, which I would have preferred, but I had the plywood, so I'm gonna use this. Uh, I'm gonna lay this out on here and then I'm gonna build the jig around the frame. Let's go ahead and put this together. We won't assemble it together yet, but we'll put it together the way that we would want it, and then we'll establish some contact points around it, okay? So let's do a time lapse here and loosely put our frame together with some clamps and then we can build our contact points around that. So we want our frame to be about four and a half inches from each side because our board is 32 inches wide. Our frame is 23 inches wide, so we'll mark that off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mark a line on the outside edges of our frame, that'll give me a reference point so I can put down some contact pieces in just a minute. Just for reference, I wanna go ahead and mark some lines on the inside of the frame as well. I may not use these. Again, as I said, we're just making this up as we go, but I wanna make sure we have these lines so I know where all the edges are. Okay, now let's take some scrap boards that I just had around the shop. We're gonna put these up in the corner with some tight bond, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna use my airstrike to put some brads in there. And these should be fairly permanent. We'll put these in each corner. Now we'll take another scrap one by two, and I'm gonna span the entire distance between the far edges of my frame. Put a little glue on the back of that, push it up against the frame, and then we'll tack it in place with our brad nailer. We'll do this on both ends. Glue it, place it, and then nail it. Now we'll put a few scrap pieces on the outside edges on both sides, flush up against the outside edge. At this point, it looks like we may be ready to start our assembly process. I think it looks pretty good so far. Now you'll notice that I've taken the frame members out, but I put these small spacers in there to help give the end pieces a more snug fit when we put it together. Now we're ready to do an assembly. 
I wanted to do this in real time because I wanted you to see exactly how long it would take me to actually put a frame together. This is our first time using it. Look at that. Nice, snug fit. These end pieces are going in with the reveal. And another snug fit. And another one. That looks great. Now we'll put this together with the pocket hole screws. And there will be two of our Craig one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws in each corner. And that will be more than enough to hold this frame together. That's what we've always used. So we'll continue to use that here. This is the part of the process that the jig will drastically improve for us. Before, I had to clamp everything in place and I had to hold everything in place while I clamped it in place. It was very prone to move and shift around. It was very difficult to hold in place and drill. Uh, this is just going to make the whole process much quicker and much more professional. Look at how easy it's going. Easy, easy. The frame's not moving. Uh, I think we've got a winner here. Look at that. Now let's see if we can get it <laughs> if we can get it out. It is a snug fit. There we go. Out it comes. Look at the frame. Looks fantastic. Awesome. So if you, if you watch many of our videos, then you know that things don't always go as expected. Uh, so this was actually a pretty drama-free video. It actually worked the, the first time through, and um, actually this guy is going to wind up making life a whole lot easier, like a thousand percent easier for me because we're building several sets of cornhole boards every week. So this, this means I don't have to get out the clamps. I don't have to do all this tedious moving around of everything and then holding into place. And, and So this will be great. This way, every, every set will be just like every other set and we'll be, able, we'll be able to do it quickly, consistently, efficiently. And I used scrap. I mean, I did have the three-quarter plywood, and it I would consider it scrap, but, I mean, a piece of plywood this big, you wouldn't, you wouldn't normally consider it scrap, but I had it for another project that fell through, so I didn't really have a purpose for it. So I didn't fire up the saw at all which was part of my goal. I didn't fire up the sander. I didn't, do, I didn't do anything with any power tools except my airstrike. So, great. That was, that was great. It really worked out well. Thank you for hanging out here with me. I hope you learned something from this. I, I learned something from it. Um, and if you've got any suggestions or questions or anything like that, or if we can use it to build a set of cornhole boards for you, definitely give me a shout and we will hook you up. Thanks again. Take care. See you next time.